What is Mel's hole? Is it a portal to another dimension? A black hole? Some kind of weird natural phenomenon? No one really knows for sure, but what we do know is that there's something definitely strange going on out there and most people have never even heard of it. Hey guys, what up? Welcome to another episode of Top 10 Binge. Today, in this video, we're going to explore some of the most interesting facts about this mysterious place called Mel's Hole and see if we can figure out what's really going on. There's definitely something strange happening in there and not many people know about it. Here are five unbelievable facts about Mel's Hole that will leave you questioning everything you know. Number five, Waters phoned a ghost radio show. A caller identified as Mel Waters called Coast to Coast Anne with Art Bell, a well-known late night radio program that featured ghost stories on February 21, 1997. At the time, Coast to Coast AM was the most well-liked platform for talking about anything strange, unexplained, or paranormal. Waters had the ideal group of listeners for his story. He enthralled Bell and the audience with tales of a mysterious hole on his property that seemed to have no bottom. According to local legend, it was cursed. It was known as the Devil's Hole by the early settlers. Waters would not specify where he lived, only stating that it was in Kittitas County, Washington, close to the Manistash Ridge. His stories got even crazier in two follow-up calls, in April 2000 and January 2002. At the time, it was impossible to predict that Mel's Hole would hold the public's interest for years to come. Number 4. A dog was resurrected by the hole. According to Waters, his neighbor once dropped the body of their dead pet dog into the hole, evoking memories of Stephen King's 1983 horror novel Pet Cemetery. A short while later, the owner received the shock of their life when they discovered their dog alive and well in the nearby woods. The dog's identical collar helped them identify him. However, the dog didn't acknowledge his owner and didn't come when he called. Waters' assertion was more than enough to frighten and captivate listeners, even though it might be a more desirable outcome than the one the grieving pet owner saw in King's story. Number 3. More Strange Occurrences at Mel's Hole each of the experiments Waters mentioned that he conducted at the pit appeared to yield an increasingly unsettling outcome. Waters described lowering a bucket of ice down to 1,500 feet in one of his last calls, and then lifting it out and noticing the ice was warm but had not melted. It had transformed into a flammable substance, he claimed. His experiments frequently violated the rules of science, not just with the warm ice. He insisted that there was no echo when he shouted down into the hole. To make sure they had reached the bottom, heavy objects like refrigerators or television CRT tubes were thrown into the pit, but there was no sound after that either. Number 2. The hole emitted a strange light. Items he lowered into the hole were only one of the many strange incidents Waters described on Coast to Coast AM. Sometimes, it would also produce mysterious returns. One of Waters' neighbors had reported seeing a blacker-than-black beam of light emanating from the cursed pit, and Waters described this report as being unsettling. He described it as a flashlight that produced a solid black beam rather than the usual white-ish one. Black is undoubtedly one of the gloomiest colors that could emerge from a shadowy pit because it is frequently connected to evil, death, and emptiness. If you are enjoying the video so far, consider giving this video a big thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at the top fact about Mel's Hole. Let's go number one. Even now, people talk about Mel's Hole. Since Waters' calls to the radio show all those years ago, talk about Mel's bottomless holes has remained surprisingly consistent. Many chat groups, including Above Top Secret, discussed the urban legend in 2005. More people began discussing the legend in the Sheffield Forum in 2007, when Gerald R. Osborne, also known as Red Elk, a tribal medicine man, claimed to have seen UFOs flying over the pit in 2008. He managed to help to keep the legend alive. He even asserted that it might be a UFO base underground. In 2012, The Daily Record conducted a Facebook poll asking participants whether they thought Mel's Hole was real or not. In 2018, some Reddit users attempted to form a team to search for it by sharing coordinates of potential locations. As recently as 2022, it was discussed in a grunge article in November and a podcast called Astounding Legends in May. This urban myth might never end, just like Mel's Hole. So the mystery of Mel's Hole remains unsolved. Was it a portal to another universe, or simply an elaborate hoax? One thing is for sure, it's an intriguing story with many questions left unanswered. Until we get more information, the truth of this mysterious place will remain a mystery. Keep your eyes open and you may just get the chance to uncover its secrets. Until then, this is one hole that will remain firmly buried in our imaginations. 
Comment down your thoughts and theories regarding Mel's hole and let us know what you think about it. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.